classic trend in the Cars diecast line has always been making certain diecasts metallic. Another trend has been choosing one color on a diecast and making it metallic. That's usually how these go. Sometimes it looks good, like making the red on McQueen metallic, or even the purple on Bobby Swift. Sometimes the results are kind of mixed. Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Metallic Florida Ramon from the 2019 Scavenger Hunt series. So, let's get started. First you've got your nice artwork of Ramon. And, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this car just because he's not all metallic. I guess they did choose the right color to make metallic. It really pops out here. But I really would have liked any other Ramon to be metallic instead of this one. Then again, Florida Ramon was the only Ramon in the main line released last year, so I guess it makes sense as to why they chose him. It's a special metallic edition. Because what these scavenger hunt cars do is they pick a random car from a random series, one that is out on store shelves or was out a few months ago, and they make it metallic. Like Nick Stickers, Sally, Shannon Spokes, and Rex Ruffler, all of which had normal releases before their metallic releases. Also, this was $7.99 because I got it at Disneyland. Again, I just would have liked any other Ramon to be metallic over this one, just because this one is primarily two different colors, so... I don't know. I, I don't think it worked out too well, but hey, at least it looks better than the metallic Cruise, because they didn't make her mirrors metallic on that die cast. And here's this Ramon out of the package. An interesting thing about him is that he's actually more accurate than the original Florida Ramon. Yeah, it turns out that his eyebrows aren't supposed to be this orangish pink color. Instead, they are supposed to be tan. Just take a look at the packaging. Anyway, though, let's get started with the review. He's got his casual, cool Ramon smile. He's got all of the different accents and decals. And it's really nice to have a diecast where the decals are all metallic. The color is a bit too dark compared to this vibrant orangish pink. And again, I would have preferred a different Ramon to be made metallic, but this one still definitely looks pretty cool. And he looks different enough to be his own Ramon. Like, this doesn't have to be a Florida Ramon. This could really be his own standalone Ramon. The colors are just that different, I think. He's got his low and slow tires. This blue stripe that goes through the side, very classic Ramon. Like all the original Ramon paint jobs had a line going through that side. So it's cool to think that even in Cars 3, they were adding that detail in. He's got low and slow on his license plate, as he should have. And that's pretty much it, honestly. And there's the base. In the end, he's a pretty solid Ramon, a very nice one with all the metallic accents. Although he is missing that Radiator Springs sign that's in his back window. Hmm. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye now.